this attack happened uh, this morning with six mortars being fired from uh, a regime uh, military uh, position in northern Hama called Tel Bazam. Uh, the mortars fell on the uh, position, the Turkish position, and caused some material dam damage in the base. Uh, in response, the Turkish Defense Ministry says that they uh, fired heavy artillery fire at Tel Bazam. Uh, uh, this particular position, number nine, this observation post, is about three kilometers from the front lines between opposition forces and regime forces. Now, these Turkish observation posts were set up in a deal, a de-escalation zone deal uh, uh, made between Turkey, Russia, uh, and Iran in 2017. They were meant uh, to prevent any kind of escalation in Idlib province, where there's more than four, or where there's around four million civilians living. Uh, this is the second time, as you mentioned, in the last four days that a Turkish observation point uh, was attacked. In the last attack, three Turkish soldiers were injured. This particular observation point is about 40 kilometers uh, southeast of the one that was attacked on Thursday. Uh, in response to the attack on Thursday, President Erdogan said uh, that Turkey will not remain silent if the regime continues attacking Turkish observation points and that he wants peace to prevail in Idlib. Uh, a part of the uh, Sochi deal or the Astana process, if you will, uh, is that Russia and Iran, as guarantors in the deal, uh, should ensure that the regime does not violate the de-escalation zone. However, uh, Russia and Iran have had uh, great difficulty in uh, keeping the regime from attacking civilians and now attacking Turkish observation points. Uh, and we expect uh, that the uh, discussion between uh, Russia and Turkey is going to be focused on uh, these new attacks on Turkish positions in uh, Idlib and northern Hama.